Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to another Shamshir Sound video. Today we're going to be talking about some technical stuff and I'm going to show you guys how you can record your FL Studio audio into OBS. And uh, OBS is my screen recording software. It's free. It's what I use to record all my videos. And I'm going to take it a step further and show you guys how to not only record your audio into OBS, but to also have multiple tracks so that your mic track and your music track is separate. That way you can do some compression or some level adjustment afterwards. And not only that, but we're going to show you how to sidechain compress the audio coming out of your output so that it compresses your voice so that anytime you play your FL Studio, your voice gets ducked down. And I'll show you here. Okay, so that was stupid, but you guys get the point. So uh, first step is going to be downloading and installing the FL Studio ASIO driver. Now, you guys, most of you guys probably already installed it. It comes with the FL Studio installer. So you can double check that by going to options, audio settings. And I've switched to it right now. Now I have a Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 interface, which I prefer. And that's what I use when I'm not recording a video for YouTube. But I use FL Studio ASIO because my Focusrite, I can't pick that up into OBS an easy way. It would be very sophisticated and difficult and require a lot of uh, cables and software to get it working. So FL Studio ASIO simplifies the process. And with FL Studio ASIO selected, when you're happy with your buffer size and your settings there, if by chance you guys don't have FL Studio ASIO driver or you guys have like an old version of FL or maybe you don't want to reinstall FL because you can solve that problem by just reinstalling FL and it'll put in the FL Studio ASIO driver, I would suggest uh, grabbing the link for the older. Now it's older, so it's not supported. It might be lacking features or performance, but there's an older standalone installer for the FL Studio ASIO driver, which you can check out in the video description. So next, that takes us to OBS. So when we go to OBS, now it might be a bit crazy here, uh, we're going to first go to, you can see here, here, here's my mic and, uh, I'm not using any audio from my webcam, but desktop audio is FL studio. And, uh, I'll show you here. You also saw that when the audio was playing back, my mic just ducked down. So let's first go into the settings of OBS. So this is considering you're relatively familiar with OBS. If you guys are very uh, beginner with OBS, you haven't used it, I recommend checking out some videos on YouTube. There's a whole skew of videos you can check out. But when you go to the uh, video tab, I believe, output. So when you go to output, you're going to want to go to recording. And uh, when you're recording, it needs to be on MP4. MP4 will allow you to select multiple tracks. And when you do that, I have selected here audio one, audio two. So you can select up to six audio tracks and with those tracks selected, that way when you import the video into Adobe Premiere or uh, Magic's Vegas, you'll see the multiple tracks. Don't be fooled if you open your video afterwards with Windows Movie Make, uh, Windows Media Player or a VLC, if you're like, wait, why is it not playing the other tracks? Because you have to open it in an editor or switch that track. Also, uh, you're going to want to make sure you have a nice bit rate. I put it at 320, which is default the highest. And make sure that, of course, your other settings coincide with your audio. You know, FL Studio, I'm doing 44.1 kilohertz. So I'm recording in 44.1 kilohertz. So even though the desktop audio device is the Scarlett, it's picking up FL Studio ASIO and it's compressing the signal of the Blue Yeti, the microphone. And so make sure you have your stuff selected an audio device here, and we're going to go into the settings later on and show you how to compress it. So that's the next step. So the next step is when you see here, this is my mic, you know, this is the desktop audio, and you're going to want to go to, I believe it's in advanced audio properties. And you can see here, I've designated mic as my number one audio track. So when I throw this video into my editor, the first track right below the video is my microphone. The second track right below my video is the FL Studio stuff, desktop audio. And so uh, you can redesignate them. You could set this to three and set this to two. Just give only one check mark. Don't put this as one and two. 
Uh, so this is only one, this is only two. Again, webcams not being used. And the last step, but not least, is using a filter. So filters are like the VSD plugins and uh, modifications you do to a signal chain. So in this case, we're not doing a filter to the desktop audio. That's where FL Studio is coming through. Again, let me show you. So you see us all there. The mic again went to zero. Go to the gear icon here and click on filters for the mic, the signal that you guys want to compress. And uh, I put a very aggressive compressor. Now you guys can load up VSD uh, plugins in here too, VSD2. It doesn't support VSD3. It's very simple. So keep that in mind. I would recommend just working with the native plugins for now with um, the filters until you get a bit more familiar with it. Uh, but I loaded up a compressor, I believe, just by hitting this. And I added a compressor. So this is compressing my voice when FL Studio is talking, when it's playing back. And I put a very aggressive setting so you guys can copy this. 32 to 1 so it can just slam it. Threshold all the way down so it can just destroy that signal, compress it all the way. Because I want it to mute it, basically. The attack extremely fast to be very responsive. And the release very quick so that... The release, we want it quick because if I don't have a quick release, I'll play something in FL and then it'll be like, uh, it'll be so long before my voice gets back to its normal output. And the output gain is just a manual dictator. Do you want plus six? Do you want minus six? I leave that at zero because what we're doing is just a dynamic compression where FL Studio talks, I stop, and then I'm talking. So something very simple. And of course, it won't work if you don't select the source. And the source is the desktop audio, which is FL Studio. With that selected and make sure that it's enabled with this uh, I, if you double click it, or sorry, if you click it again, it'll put a slash, which means it's disabled. So this is enabled and uh, we can see an effect here. I don't even have to open the video yet. You saw there the mic just jumped down. So that way it's very useful because then it requires less editing post-production because post-production is very annoying. You know, a lot of times we see a video made by Zen World or whoever, and they make great videos, but we forget how difficult it is. All the, the editing is more difficult. So when you guys take this, um, when you guys implement this, you're gonna have much faster editing. You don't have to go in there and mute you know, your mic while the FL Studio is playing again and mute. That's what I was doing for a lot of videos in the past. I was muting stuff manually. I was even sampling in Edison. Can you believe that? I was sampling in Edison, throwing that into Sony Vegas. And then I was taking my mic because I was recording just one. Uh, I was recording, yeah, just one. And I was syncing Edison with it. I was muting myself. And that's just too much work. So when you guys do these sort of steps, it's really going to improve your post-production and make editing a breeze. So I hope you guys like this. I wanted to show you guys uh, my discoveries and the things I came across. Remember that FL Studio ASIO driver is bundled with FL Studio. And um, I recommend it, especially if you guys don't have a audio interface. Um, definitely, it's a good ASIO driver. Another alternative is ASIO for all, but I didn't have success using ASIO for all to record my output in the same way I had with FL Studio. FL Studio's ASIO driver gave me the best flexibility and I was able to record with no problem. So definitely a great usage here for it, whether you guys record tutorials, anything like that. And um, let me know if you guys have any questions regarding the old standalone installer. Again, be careful because the old standalone ins installer is dated. I made a request on their forums to make a new one because it would make sense. Like I, I wouldn't want to reinstall FL Studio all over again just for FL Studio ASIO, but I did it. And uh, you can keep your settings, just install it the same way, migrate your settings, and you'll be fine. You won't lose anything. So let me know if you guys have any questions with this. Do you guys use OBS? Do you guys want to see some OBS tutorials? Because uh, OBS is a fantastic uh, software. I really like it. And that's a wrap for this video, guys. If you made it this far, thank you so much. Thank you for a few minutes of your time. Make sure to smash the like button. Make sure you guys are subscribed. I'm going to be giving away more sounds. And I'm looking at your guys' feedback. Your comments uh, really help fuel the future videos on this channel. 
And uh, that is a wrap, guys. I hope you guys have an excellent day. Take care.